Clear Mountain's domain has has a bunch of um, presets that you can start from. So, you know, a lot of people will open it up and just see a bunch of controls and go, oh man, I don't want to have to deal, figure the, all this out. Well, if you look in here, there's a whole pile of presets that comes with it and you can save your own presets besides. But um, things like right now, I have this live Rolling Stones, which is a kind of a setting that I use for a lot of the live stone stuff that I, I do. There's a, there's a Let's Dance delay that's very similar to the wacky delay on a, on a Let's Dance song that I mixed recorded and mixed years ago. Here's an um, Avalon backing vocal thing. It's sort of this wide, very lush, it's like a quarter note delay with a bunch of, with reverbs. There's a bunch of places to start. So you just pick one to start from and then uh, get creative from there and then go under the hood. You can choose different delays. You can sync it to the tempo of the um, song. There's a harmonizer that goes along with each that's on each delay, which kind of thickens it a bit. There's a thing called delay blur, sort of a saturation or a, a little bit of a distortion. And the idea of that is if you can imagine a concert with a rock band and the PA has been overdriven a bit and it's the sound of the PA is bouncing off the, the walls of the arena, it kind of simulates that a little bit. Plus you can EQ it so you can take out some bottom end or boost some treble or whatever just to make it sound. And so I have some settings already in here. Live Rolling Stones. See, I'm pushing a bit of a upper mid range. And then I got the delay blur like sort of cranked, kind of like that. And then there's a 110 millisecond and 145, like short delays on left and right. But then you can do things like on this, you can cross feed the output of one delay into the other delay. There's an offset. If you set them both to, uh, let's say, a quarter note, right? Well, if they're both a quarter note, it's just going to sound like mono. But this way you can subtract like 12 milliseconds from the left and it automatically does the opposite on the right. It adds 12 milliseconds. So it kind of widens the delay and turns it into stereo. Got some other cool features like let's say you do a, uh, a quarter note and a dotted eighth, right? So there's a quarter note on the left, dotted eighth on the right, and then you want to feed them back, feeding back onto themselves, right? without the cross feed. Now the thing is, if one delay is longer than the other one, the long delay of course is going to decay longer than the short one. Well this compensates that for that automatically. You can see that the, the spin is like a regen or, or feedback. It's going up more than the one on the left. That one's at 8.7 dB. This is minus 10. 0.6 dB. And so it automatically compensates so they decay at the same time. So there's a lot of little fun tricks in there. And just with the, this combination of different buttons, you can link the two equalizers if you want. I mean, just, just a lot of little convenient things. <laughs>